That's right, Madison. You can smell and see the smoke when you make your way to Napa County. I'm here at a winery where the owners say they witnessed the flames engulf their property, but the main structure is still standing. But look at their warehouse completely destroyed. This is where they house all of their wine. Now all of those wine bottles are ruined. Workers came to the property today to try to rebuild the structure, but it's going to be a while until people can enjoy the tasting rooms once again. Smoky roads and fallen power lines lead you into what is left of Calistoga after the glass fire burned down homes and turned downtown into a ghost town. The sun peeks through the vegetation as hot spots continue to burn and people return to what is left of their property. You're welcome to walk around. She lost her barn, but I think her house is okay. Neighbors calling one another to relay the bad news that ash, soot, and debris is all that's left of the hillside. Our house got completely destroyed, so I'm pretty. At first, I haven't seen it yet, so I gotta go in and see it. Off of Highway 128, Napa's famed Castle Castillo de Amorso winery at first glance looks untouched by the fire. But driving up the vineyard, the destruction is revealed. My office is right here on the top, and you see at every single window coming flames out of it. Castillo de Amorso President George Salzer says he was on the property when the fire surrounding the winery turned 120,000 bottles of wine into ash. The retail value of those wines is probably around four to five million dollars. Charred wine glasses crunch beneath the feet of workers who begin the cleanup process. Salter says the fire is another hit that the winery has taken financially in 2020. Our visitation was down 70 percent because of COVID and the recent fire. So yeah, it has uh, hit us very hard. You can see the recycling bin is still smoldering. Look at the smoke coming out of there. And they tell me that all of their money comes from their tasting room. They don't sell to outside franchises or restaurants or businesses. So all the money that they do make is from their tasting room and they hope to reopen when evacuation orders are lifted.